your teammates down than you wanted to come out here and uh, you know do what you had to do to get this team back in the uh, series, and you certainly did that today. Yeah, um, yeah, I definitely felt out the game too. Um, I could have definitely played better. Um, you know, whether it was just doing other things on the court. You know, like, you know, players have games like that in the playoffs, but you know, it's about if they can bounce back and come back and you know, get a victory and get a win. Or, um, you know, just step up their game to another level. Um, my focus you know, since game two was just getting myself back into into the series and getting myself back into the game and just focusing in. You always say that sometimes players feed off the crowd. I mean, it was nice to be home. Obviously, you guys got the early jump and never look back until the second half. Talk about that and the crowd getting into it. I mean, you know, we, we had a, a early a early takeoff where you know, we, I think we were up uh, 10 to 2. And you know, the crowd was into it. You know, and we, we just fed out their energy you know, the whole game. You know, that was the, I think that was the biggest part. We fed out their energy, and then it kind of translated into us. And then we just kind of fed off each other's energy. Uh, it was all good vibes on the court. And uh, you know, we, we just played. You led all the way until four minutes to go in the third quarter. They briefly took the lead, then an 18 nothing run. Talk about what was key to that run. I mean, we just kept our composure. You know, we have a lot of veteran guys on this team that know how to play basketball. So, um, the biggest thing was just keeping our composure, you know, not letting that get to us. We knew they were going to make a run. We knew they were going to try to come back. You know, they're a good team. Um, they won. 50, 60 games this year, so you know they they've been in these situations and they know how to play. So you know we have to you know, uh, pull our venture leadership out, out, out of our back pocket and, and figure out ways to keep ourselves into the game or, or, or pull out victories like we did today. Is there a momentum shift in the series now? Uh, I mean, we hope so. You know, but we're still down the game, so you know, we just have to protect home court and uh, you know go go back to Atlanta and try to get one get one on their, on their floor. Was there a concerted effort to shut down that three point shooting? I'm thinking they were like six for thirty. And Kyle when we had two points. Though. Yeah, I mean, uh, we did it. We did a lot of different things, uh, just changing up coverages. Uh, communication was much better. Uh, as, uh, we didn't let them uh, be throwing the baseline. We didn't let them get the best. Uh, so we kind of made them just keep the ball up back, back to the top of the key and make them make plays that way. Uh, that way they were getting against the, uh, the shot clock and uh, they were forced to take some tough shots. Hey, Dad, I know you're disappointed how you played in the game, too. <laughs> how gratifying is it to come out the way you did? Uh, I mean, it, it's great. You know, it, it says a lot about me as a person. You know, no matter what, you know, you know, how I felt about game two, I knew I had to come back and uh, bounce back you know, in game three for us to get a win. Uh, and, uh, my teammates kept believing in me. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things uh, about game two, you know, me, I took, I took a you know, part of myself where I, I walked in and I told them, I said, guys, I'm sorry, I didn't give you guys anything tonight. And they stuck behind me. And they just said, you know, it's, not, it's not just you. Um, you know, we're a team and uh, we got to help you out. Help you it's like you're helping us out. So, you know, I commend my teammates for, you know, sticking, sticking with me and, you know, picking me up and uh, continue to uh, fight with me. When, you know, maybe it's even more pronounced when you're an AC, but if there were any doubts creeping in about whether you could beat this in the series, is that when you beat them the way you did today, does that kind of give you erase any doubt you might have had? I mean, we didn't have any doubt yeah. at all. Um, I think all the games have been close in this series and you know, are, are getting close. So um, there was no doubt. You know, we, we feel that we can beat any team on any given day. This is the NBA. You know, any team we beat. So, it's just all about going out there and just you know, standing in their, their runs in the game and you know, keeping our turnovers down. I think both teams had 15 turnovers. So we're pretty even down the stretch. So you know, if we can continue to do the things that we did tonight, we'll be able to win more games. You were to any team down 3 nothing. That's how it was. That's, I mean, you were that going in. How I was, I was aware of that. I seen that at uh, Milwaukee Bucks in uh, Chicago. Yeah. 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 Watching their game just said something like 112 and 0. So, you know, we definitely want to get down to that. Um, and, uh, it's hard to play games down to three left. Um, so, like I said, we just want to protect the home court. You know, and, uh, we'll still want to our court. And uh, that gets us to see. So the formula doesn't change then for game four. I mean, you're going to take the same template and try and do the I mean, same thing. I mean, we can, we can pick it back off a lot, of a lot of different things that we didn't do well in this game and just try to tra translate it into the next game. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, just you know, taking the things that we didn't do well and try to get better. Because, like, combining the positives from this game is really going to be open. Thank you. Want to get in there? I mean, I, I, don't, I 
don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but they, I think, you know, they've, they've kind of felt our presence, you know, throughout the whole series. You know, um, you know we've made runs, they made runs. You know, they've just been the victory in most of the, most of the games where, you know, we'll be close at the end and they'll make a few plays to get them over the hump. You know, tonight we, we, we built ourselves a nice, comfortable lead where we can, you know, we can we can rest and, and just try to you know, just play solid and execute. When you guys want the team to overrun, how much of all is physically checking your shots and how much of is it mentally that you're exerting your will on that? I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a half and half situation. You know, you got, this is a big boys game. You know, you have to be able to, you know, withstand their runs and you have to you know, make your brothers felt on the court. And, you know, you have to um, impose your will on the game at all times. I think we did a good job of just imposing our will on the game and uh, just making them see lots and lots of bodies, you know, and making them play in, in crowds and keeping them out of transition. Dad, could, could you take me back to February when the trade happened?